Hey everybody, what's up? Mike here. I know, it's been like half a year since I did a reaction video. Uh, most of you who have been following my channel are probably wondering, Mike, where the hell have you been? Um, well, there's a simple answer for that. I have been taking some time to work on my physical and mental health, get some of that in order, and also my band is making a new record in the studio, and it's... We're taking our time with it. It's going to be special. Um, if you like blues music and you like a concept album about conspiracy theories, this might be a record for you. I'll post a link to my uh, GoFundMe down below in case you want to help uh, fund that and help the channel out and help me out. But uh, other than that, uh, yeah, that's what I've been up to. So on a whim, I felt like doing a reaction video today. I finally kind of felt like, yeah, I'm in the mood to do one. So I put in new rock bands 2023 into YouTube. And this band came up. They're called Lilac. I have no idea what they're about. Um, and we're going to check out a song of theirs today called Madness. Um, the only thing I know about this band is that it's a female drummer, female singer, uh, and male guitarist, bassist, and keyboard player. And I'm very happy to see a keyboard player in a rock band. I used to be at a keyboard player in a rock band myself, so warms my heart. Um, if you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button below. It's somewhere down there or down there. I can never remember where the hell it is. Um, ring the bell to get notified when I post a video. A choo-choo, as I call it. Uh, give a like, a thumbs up, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this band. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, if you're new to this channel, you should know I do a lot of musical analysis. So like a lot of like arrangement analysis, music theory stuff. Um, so I pause a lot. I analyze the music a lot. I don't just like, you know, listen to the song all the way through and nod my head. Um, and if I don't like something... I'll let you know. But hopefully I like this band. Um, so yeah, without further ado, here is Lilac doing Madness. Let's go. There's some feedback. I see a wall pedal. Down to Probably drop D. I like the groove. This woman's voice. What in the... What in the... It's so unique. I, I've. It's like it's like a demon singing to me. There was like this raspiness, at, at like for like the first few seconds, and I couldn't tell if she was actually singing in English or not. Um, I, I, it doesn't matter what language she's singing it, but but her her voice beguiles me. It, it's. I have to hear this back. Okay, guitar players. Ooh. She's got this rasp to her voice. Drummer's laying down a nice groove. 4-4. Four, four. Whoa! 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 That scream, man! That was. There's a lot of range in that scream. There's a lot of tonal character going around in that scream. She kind of reminds me of like a female version, like a more operatic singing version. Like, but like her 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 unclean vocals, her distorted vocals, remind me a lot of Randy Blythe from Lamb of God. 
Um, and he's got quite some range to him. And there's a lot of character and timber and tonal stuff to what he does and what she does. And, and oh, oh, oh my God. Um, the groove is really solid with this. I see that the guitar player plays a PRS guitar as I'm scrolling back here. And the keyboard player is playing this bright red guitar. I never thought we would see guitars again. Not since the 1980s when I was born. Um, I'm dating myself now. The song is really solid. I didn't expect it to go into like the, 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 the punky kind of feel in the pre-chorus and that scream, oh my god, I have to hear this again. Damn it, no, you're supposed to play when I press space, YouTube. Okay, I'm hearing like two layers of vocals. She's singing, she's got this weird whispery rass thing going on at the very beginning that just fucking intrigues me. Um, and then you can also hear her doing like these low distorted vocals on like another layer, like in, a, like, like in an overdub and it's like an octave underneath her, her actual singing voice, and it's creepy as fuck. It's great stuff. I never thought you'd see a bright red guitar music ever again. That's great! Okay, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a little bit of a, an effect going on with the scream at the, towards the very end. But what's really cool is she does like the... So, I, I obviously, I cannot do it properly. But she's doing, I think, what they call in unclean vocals a pig squeal. I think that's the term for it. If I'm wrong, fucking correct me in the comments, please. Uh, but you can hear her going from like the very top of her like her range and like her head voice and she drops down and gets like the low distorted stuff and then goes all the way back up and it's just like whoa this girl has so much range and so much tonal and timber variety to what she's doing timbre sorry um this is fucking blowing my mind i'm a really 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 I'm a huge sucker for songs that groove and are simple, but are really well done and are really well performed and have excellent musicianship. And I think this might be one of those songs. So I'm just going to wind this back to when the screen happens. Nice double bass on the drums. Okay, chorus. It's cool. It's catchy. It's simple. And the other thing I like about this is when she goes up higher in her voice when she's singing, it goes, madness, madness, whatever the, whatever she's doing there. She kind of reminds me of a female Ronnie James Dio. And that is a high compliment to pay this woman. Because if you can sing like Dio and kind of get that quality in your voice, big thumbs up to you. Big thumbs up. Um, cool stuff. Um, so far, this is like, oh, 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 and the other thing I really like is like how crunchy the rhythm guitar is and like the palm muting and like the, the chug is like really fucking tight, really fucking tight. It's really well done. Um, uh, hats off to very precise rhythm guitar. And I see he's got, oh, it's not a PRS. 
That is a, does it say Sawtooth or Sandtooth? I don't know the brand. Um, but it looks like he's got EMG active pickups in his, in, in his, in his Strat style guitar. Um, you can tell I'm a guitar player and a real fucking nerd, but, uh, just making some observations. Let's keep going. Damn it, that spacebar button still does not work. Habit. YouTube, make the spacebar button actually play the video again. What? You switched it to the letter K? How is that intuitive? You can hear that distorted low vocals, like doubling all of her vocal lines. Such a catchy hook. What the fuck? Well, she did not sing that note. She did not sing that note. No way, that's like whistle tone. That's like, that's like some metal Mariah Carey shit right there. Hold oh, wait, 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 whoa, girl. This girl can sing. Like. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know if she's as good, but like, range wise, I think this girl could give like Flor Jansen from Nightwish a run for her money. That's saying something. Um, whoa, like, just like, I don't know how high that note is, but like, I'm sorry, that, that fucking shocked me. Um, the other thing I was going to say is, so the, the, like, the, the chorus is very, like, and the vocals are kind of night wishy now, but I think about it, it's, you can hear, I do wish the keyboard player was a little bit higher in the mix. I can hear some strings a little bit in the background of the chorus. And he's doing some nice synthy things in the, in the verse. I'm hearing mostly like a lot of like Phrygian tonalities in the verse. So I'll, 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 I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, damn it. It's K. Why would anybody think the letter K is associated with playing? Like the space bar is intuitive. It's obvious. Why the hell would you switch to K, YouTube? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Yeah, you can hear it alternating between like the root, the one, and the flat second, which is very common in metal. So this is like the verse is giving me kind of like Phrygian vibes. The chorus is giving me like Ronnie James Dio, Nightwishy kind of like symphonic operatic kind of metal vibes. It's 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 really nice actually. Um, and you can hear the keyboards have got like this little synth arpeggiated part, but it's like. Uh, like bringing the harmony in very subtly so that like it lets us know that we're in like minor land tonality as opposed to major so it's just nice and dark and brooding and like metal right so so I should do that properly metal Born, I'm And I love how she she just like alternates between like clean and distorted vocals so effortlessly. That's a crazy scream. Holy shit. Oh, okay. Okay. 
That was not what I was expecting for a guitar solo. What do I mean by this? Usually, when you have a guitar solo in metal music, there's a lot more overdrive. But the cool thing about this dude is, like, in, in addition to being devilishly handsome, um, he's using, like, there's not a lot of overdrive to his solo tone, and it's really clean, and it offers a very interesting contrast. He's got a lot of great control over his wah pedal, so you're hearing a lot of different, like, different tonalities, um, and he threw in the whammy pedal at the end, uh, which is, like, a nice little touch. Um, let's just check the solo, I, I want to check the solo out, and kind of figure out what he's doing harmonically here. Not yet. Here we go. Crazy. Nice solo. Nice solo. You've got you, you've got you've got some, like. You've got some natural my some harmonic minor stuff going on in there. You've got a couple of diminished runs. You've got some nice tapping. You've got a couple of nice pentatonic licks. Overall, it's kind of got everything. The really cool thing about it though is the tone because it's like it's very clean. It, there's a little bit of like if. If I listen to that back, there's very little overdrive on that guitar tone, and I think what overdrive there is coming from the guitar there is probably coming from the wall pedal itself actually distorting what I would probably guess is actually a clean tone running into the amp. That's what I'm kind of hearing. It's an unusual tonal choice from guitar solo and like a this is kind of like metalish like i would kind of put this in like a symphonic metal kind of uh genre you know spectrum uh vibe but it's very unexpected but it produces a very 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 interesting interesting contrast and because it's clean and it's clear you can hear all of the really cool rhythmic things he's doing with the wah pedal it's very precise very clear very well played hats off to him okay let's keep going okay i got some light symbol action from the drummer she's been grooving by the way it's a nice bass line Ooh, now we've got creepy whisper vocals Okay, okay, before they go nuts, something really cool I want to note arrangement wise. I know I keep stopping, but this is how I do things. The moment something catches my ear, I gotta I gotta point it out. So when she's doing her whisper thing and she's building up into this these screamy kind of vocals, right, with, with her unclean vocals, you can hear her doing this high operatic thing in the background over like on the left side. And it's like a very like creepy minor horror film kind of stuff. Uh, check it out. It should be around here. K. Seriously, who thinks K is intuitive for playing the video? Bass player is playing a cool bass line. Hear that? It's cool. Oh, double time! Oh, nice screen girl. Ooh! That's, that is so, what the fuck. Just listen to the range. Okay, okay, we have, we have to talk about what she's 
doing with her vocal technique to get this scream because it's just it's astounding who is this girl what is her name what is this woman's name i'm sorry i'm, I'm, I'm sorry i have to scroll down and look everyone because i'm just so I, I'm, I'm so blown away melody christian she's only 21 that's 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 I don't understand how she's doing this. Well, I, I kind of do. Okay, so if we, if we, if we... Okay, so there's this big, 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 big... Okay, so she's like going from head voice, which is like all the way up here. Okay, she's doing something with her vocal folds to get that kind of distortion. But what I'm hearing is she's starting up the Wow in head voice, which is like in here. You usually focus on the mask of the face. So she's like Wow And then she's going to like vocal fry range and deep down She's she likes doing this kind of like air raid siren kind of vocals. Um and the drummer is just killing it with the double time. And like the crazy double bass stuff. Really well done, honestly. Really cool stuff. Really, 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 really cool stuff. Um, very talented band. She's only 21 and she's doing that. How is the... Blows my freaking mind. Lilac, you guys are awesome. I love you. I'm definitely gonna be reacting to more of your stuff. Um, yeah, this is, this is so cool. Um, it's great. It's really great to see, but like, I'm in my late thirties now. I've been a, I've been a professional musician for, for a while, so I'm not that young anymore, but it's really great to see really talented musicians making great freaking rock and metal music in 2023 rock is not dead this gives me hope black keep it up i really 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 like you this is i'm impressed i'm really impressed just my hats off and creating such a really well crafted song very well arranged like you guys are in your teens and your 20s i think i saw in the description so i mean Hats off to you. Um, yeah. All right. Let, let's, let's, I don't think I have anything more to say except well played. Very well played. Um, check these guys out, everybody. They're worth it. Uh, you heard it from, you heard, you heard it here. Um, so, I, uh, yeah um i think that's it for me today so again if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button below it's somewhere down there or or, or down there ring the bell to get notified when i post a new video give the video a like a thumbs up uh leave a comment down below and uh go show lilac some love because they really fucking deserve it impressive this girl can sing holy crap and just the rhythm section is so tight and it's just well arranged and the guitar player is like he's got some really interesting tonal choices like this is really good guys okay that's enough i'm, I'm, I'm gonna be here forever gabbing about this band um this is why i love making reaction videos because i get to find a, a new shit like this um all right i'll you know what i'll be i'll, be, I'll 
I'll be back soon. That's a promise. Um, I'm Mike Nagoda. If you're new, please subscribe. And yeah, I'm out. Check you guys later. Bye. The scream is nuts. How is she screaming like that? She's only 21. How?